Hey roofers, Ashley here from iRoofing with the second installment in our series on how to work remotely and close roof sales. In the first video, we went over basic yet essential steps to set up and fully customize your iRoofing app with your company's unique branding, pricing, logos, the whole nine yards. If you haven't seen the first video, I highly suggest you go back and watch it before continuing with this step in the series. Today we're going to focus on step two, which is setting up a video conference meeting for you and your client. So at this point, your iRoofing app is set up for success and boom, what do you know? A lead comes in. They need a new roof and they think you might just be the guy for the job, but not so fast. You need to prove it. You need to win the bid. And there's the tiny problem of social distancing that is kind of getting in the way of your normal sales presentation routine. Well, don't you worry. You can still have your presentation fully remotely with the help of a video conferencing platform and your iRoofing app. Which brings us to step one, select the video conferencing platform you want to use. Now there are many services available to host a video conference with your client. Choosing the right one for you can be a little tricky at first. Many of our contractors prefer Zoom, which allows unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings with clients. For meetings with more than one participant, there might be time limitations and you can choose one of the other free services like GoToMeeting. Just make sure you always choose the one that you're most comfortable with. It's important to consult with your client about any technical specifications they'll need to participate in the video call, such as a stable internet connection, a laptop, desktop, or a tablet. Mobile devices aren't always supported, so definitely check on that in advance. Step two, determine the date and time for the meeting. Allow for a comfortable amount of time similar to your face-to-face -face meetings. Step three, book the meeting and send any pertinent links or dial-in information to the client. Keep this information at hand, as your client might need you to resend it when it's time to join your virtual meeting. Step 4. Let your client know that you're looking forward to the meeting and to contact you if they have any questions. Congratulations, you've selected your video conferencing platform and scheduled your meeting. Now it's time for the iRoofing Pro Tip. Lockdown can be a good time for you to close remotely. It can reduce the need for having multiple meetings to close a sale mainly because all the decision makers are together. Just make sure you're sensitive to the client's situation. Thanks so much for tuning into step two of our series, how to work remotely and close roof sales. We attached a PDF available for free download guiding you through each of the above steps with check boxes as you complete each one. And remember, if you have any questions, iRoofing's team of experts is standing by with free and unlimited training. So give us a call at 800-646 6270 or visit iRoofing.org if you need help. Happy roofing!